Hello, in this video, you will learn about Gray Wolf optimization algorithm. So, these are the topics that are covered in this video. What is this algorithm? And how we can initialize the population of the gray wolf, how we can calculate the fitness value for each wolf, how we can update their position, and how we can calculate alpha, beta, delta score. So, this is a meta heuristic algorithm, and this algorithm is inspired by the social hierarchy and the hunting technique used by gray wolf. As you know about gray wolf, they live in a highly organized pack, and the pack size can be 5 to 12 wolf and they have the dominant pack leaders and they are they are loyal to their pack members and they are the most successful animals living on the earth because of their ability to work together in the pack as they work together in a pack so it increases their survival on the earth even in the difficult situations we have four different rank for wolf in a pack that is the alpha wolf beta wolf delta wolf and omega wolf alpha wolf is the pack leader it can be a male wolf or it can be a female wolf and all the important decisions regarding hunting, sleeping places, time to wake up are made by alpha. Beta wolf is the nest best candidate to be alpha and it helps alpha wolf in decision making and beta wolf give feedback to alpha. Delta wolf is the third rank wolf in the hierarchy and it help the pack in hunting and it also help the pack it provide the food to the pack omega wolf is the fourth rank wolf in the wolf hierarchy and in this category we have caretakers older one scouts and hunter now we have different steps that are used for the hunting so you know this algorithm is nothing what just it mimic the data step and the hunting mechanism used by gray wolf as you know they how they hunt so we have main steps that we, are, we will follow in this algorithm first they will search for the prey after that they will track chase until the prey stop moving they will keep chasing and after that they will encircle the prey and final attack so you know whatever I'm talking about here I already discussed this in detail that is everything like its mathematical model for hunting mathematical model for encircling and mathematical model for this step that is discussed everything in the detail right now in this video we will discuss about how we can calculate the population how we can calculate the fitness value how we can initialize the population we are going to focus on the main steps like its fitness value alpha beta delta score how we can update their position so we have a note for you like in the cuckoo search algorithm we cannot make any difference between cuckoo egg and host word so in this algorithm we don't know the position of the prey so right now the in the first iteration alpha is the prey and that is alpha means best solution among all so we don't know the position of the prey so right now the prey in the first iteration is the alpha wolf now we will see this algorithm first we will initialize the wolf population then we will initialize the values for this now we will calculate the fitness for the each search agent then here we have x alpha means the best search agent that is the alpha wolf second best search agent beta third best agent is delta then we will update their position we will calculate their fitness value then we will update their positions after that here we will print the best solution among all so we can initialize the gray wall population using this, this source code here we have this value for the lower bound and this is for upper bound and we have i'm taking here population 5 for example so this is the output for the population of the search agent so this is the initial population for the five wolf now next step is we will calculate the fitness for the each search agent so right now we are going to calculate the alpha beta delta wolf so i'm using the fitness for the fitness value i'm using objective function that is in, in the table you can see in the research paper we have a 
f10 objective function so this is the objective function so in order to calculate fitness value i'm using this objective function you can see here we have this is the initial position of the bulb so we will put the value for the first bulb 4.8086 so x is here this one put the value here and we will got the fitness 4.9269 so for the first bulb we calculated fitness value 4.9269 like that for the second bulb put the value that you calculated for the position here then you will got the fitness value as it is so this is the second bulb fitness value and this is for the third bulb and this one is for the fourth bulb and this one is for fifth bulb now next step is we will compare the fitness value of the each bulb then we will find the first three best bulb so according to the fitness value we have this is the alpha bulb that is the first rank second rank we have this one that is the beta bulb and third rank for this one that is the delta bulb so now we have three best bulb in the pack so we have alpha this is the alpha for beta and for delta and you can see the position of alpha bulb position of beta bulb and this is the position of delta bulb now next step you can see we are going to update their position and for this i'm using another equation that you can see here we will use this equation in order to update their position and the value for the t is right now zero that is the current iteration and you can see this is the mathematical model for the hunting so you can see in this video everything is already discussed in the detail and right now we will just discuss about there so this is the mathematical model that we already discussed in the previous video so you can calculate the, all the values using this then you can see here we have the position of the that is this is the x alpha this is x beta this is x delta and you can see the value for c1 c2 c3 here a1 a2 a3 here put the values and you will got the result by this now the next step is we are going to update a this position so according to the that the recently you calculated the position for the you updated the position of the each gray bulb so again you will calculate the fitness value for the each bulb then according to their fitness value again you will rank the bulb done so you can calculate fitness value using this objective function after that you will rank the bulb that we did before so according to their rank we will find the current best so again we will update their position now in order to update their position we can use this so how we can update the position of alpha bulb we will compare the fitness value and the alpha score if the alpha score is greater than fitness value then we will consider the alpha score as fitness value you know we are this is the optimization algorithm so we are working on optimization we need we need optimum value that is the minimum value so you can com compare the position of with the fitness value and the fitness value is less then we will consider the fitness value as the alpha score you can update all the position like this for the beta you can use this one you can update the position of delta bulb using this so that we did for the previous one so like that you can do all for the old bulb and you can see this algorithm can be used for for optimizing the key value in the cryptography algorithm for complex optimization problems for the training of multi-layer perceptrons so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video